What's going on everybody? Coming to you from the Capitol State Forest here in Washington State and I have something big and awesome and fun to share with you finally on a bright sunny day. That's why I came out here. I can't wait to show you my e-bag. Let's go check it out. Oh, where is it though? It's not outside. My e-bike is inside my RV. Let me show you. Check it out. Oh, hey, Jax. Look at that. That is a complete folding e-bike inside my RV. When it's folded up in this position, it's about uh, 18 inches wide. It's about 33 inches long and about 27 inches tall. I don't usually to take the seat off right now. But to put that into perspective, you can see Jax right here. It folds up super nice and easy. And with that kind of versatility, you're able to bring it inside your apartment, up the stairs, into the elevator, into the coffee shop to sit next to you at the table, or if it's raining and nasty for a week, you can store it inside the RV where it's not going to rust. Right? Yeah. Super easy to get through narrow, small spaces and RV doors, as you can see. Got a little carry handle. Let's take a look at this thing. Now maybe you can relate to the same concern that I and many others may have. What about ordering an e-bike online and having it shipped in a package disassembled? Isn't that kind of a scary thing? Like, do I know how to put an e-bike together? Well, this one, I think we can all figure out. It's pretty darn easy because it folds in half. You just lift the sucker, pull it out. There's uh, one latch here in the middle. That locks in. <sighs> Handlebar comes up, that locks in, slide that, guess what, we got an e-bike, we can go. You know, but real quick, before we go into some of the specs and we hop on this thing and see what it can do, does everybody know what an e-bike is essentially? Basically, we are just talking about a normal bicycle, except that there is going to be some kind of a motor and a battery integrated to help you pedal, to help assist your pedaling. So there might be levels, or in this case, there might even be a throttle where you can just lay on the bike and just pull the throttle like a motorcycle and go, right? So because it's an electric bike or an e-bike as we call it, it does have a motor. In this case, our motor is back here on the rear tire, and look at these four inch meaty tires. Those are almost good for off-road or definitely for a campground like this, but there's a 500 watt uh, rear hub motor in there, and then you can see the chain, so it's just like a normal bike. We've got disc brakes front and back. There's the disc brakes up front. You will notice a lot more wires, okay, but they are hidden away nicely, and that is kind of important because we have to come up to the LCD screen here and look at these buttons here. So let's turn this bad boy on hold this down Go over to our LED screen here And we've got our energy bar our battery meter up here our speed in miles per hour or kilometers whatever you choose your um, Pedal assist level here. There are three levels so I can go up to one two or three depending on how much help I want if it's at zero then it's just a normal bicycle. There's no pedal assist, there's no nothing, it's just a bicycle. It also has an odometer down here and miles per hour. We can turn on the headlights by holding this down. Now we have integrated LED front headlights that are powered from the battery inside and tail lights. And get a load of this rear rack right here. How cool is this? You can put a milk crate, you can put a backpack and groceries. It's a spring assisted, so you could put stuff up here and then this will hold it to the back. I just love it. Nice big comfy seat right here. The top speed of this bike programmed is 28 miles per hour. And here is your throttle right here. You don't have to pedal, you just twist that throttle and you can go 28 miles per hour on this e-bike. And depending on what level of assist you have or whether you are going uphill or downhill or just all throttle all the time, you're gonna get about 25 to 50 miles per charge. It takes about four to five hours to recharge that LG lithium battery in there and I can basically commute around, you know, going through town and going through campgrounds and stuff like this. I get days and days before I even need to recharge it. And because I have my solar system, this actually works really well because I can plug it in at night and charge it while I'm sleeping and have it fully charged the next day for a good 40 miles of exploring on the e-bike. 
no insurance to purchase for a motorcycle. The maintenance is super easy. It's basically just a, a bicycle in a sense. But if I ever have any problems with the components of the e-bike, I trust this company. And this is the company I went with, Electric. As a matter of fact, they contacted me right after I got into Washington State and talked about my lack of having transportation. So this is a great opportunity for the two of us to work together. They've sent me this bike to try out for free, and I'm going to show you what it can do. Maybe you find it as interesting as I do. I cannot stop smiling riding this bike I am having loads and loads of fun and I do not need a motorcycle anymore to be honest with you I actually like breaking a little bit of sweat burning some calories and exploring on this bike when it's not raining non-stop right I know the e-bike business is a competitive one right now they are getting super popular prices can range anywhere from a thousand bucks to four grand for an e-bike and some companies are really taking advantage of people like it's it's crazy and they're putting crap together uh electric bikes has been out for a while their flagship bike is the lx road model uh and it's it's been selling a lot of those lately and they are just now getting into the rv community i think or apartment but you know meteor tires uh a more comfortable ride and actually kind of stylish in my opinion just to go over a few more things real quick this bike is pretty adjustable the handlebars will adjust up and down to fit many different riders the seat goes much higher and a little bit lower than i have it right now as well and I mean, I know some people might not like the look of this bike because, you know, it just looks really small and then the tires are a lot narrower and then the handlebars are up so higher. But wait till the end of the video because I am actually going to give you my thoughts on this versus a normal mountain bike or a road bike like Electric also offers. I like this bike more. I honestly do. We've got some trails here to test out with these meaty tires and I want to try it out on the beach, on the sand. It does also have the chain guard up here in case you're wearing long pants or something, you won't get caught in the chain. That's kind of a nice feature there. So I'm out here at Margaret McKinney Campground in the Capital State Forest and I am actually out of barley pop. <laughs> So about three and a half miles down the road into Little Rock is a little store. I think this is a great opportunity to take the bike out and kind of show you uh, some of the features and how fast it goes and how it works and how it feels. Uh, but first, let's just ride around the campground a little bit. So I got the bike propped up on a rock here real quick. I just want to show you over here at the throttle. I really like the feel of this handlebar. I love that part right there. Here is your throttle. So if you twist this throttle, there's no need to pedal at all. But we're gonna start this pedaling. Let's go ahead and start this off on pedal assist one there. That will give me about 10 miles per hour, I think, once you start pedaling. Basically what happens is, once you start pedaling this bicycle, that motor's gonna kick in and it's gonna help. So let's try it right now. So we'll try it, pedal a little bit, and there it goes, whoa. And there we are, we're up to 13 miles per hour pedaling the bicycle with pedal assist. I don't like doing this one handed, but I did want to show you how easy this is. There we go, 13 miles per hour. Now, while we're riding, see my thumb over here, I can switch this to three, and then it just kind of takes off on me there. Oh yeah, this is actually a little too fast through here. I'm gonna slow down, just like a normal bike. You can just stop pedaling, or you can hit the brakes like a normal bicycle. Put it back on one now. Yes, there, this is an equestrian campground as well, so you will see horses out here. You know, it's perfect for just scooting around the campground or if you get to a big city like I'm going to be using it for, I'm gonna take it into the big city and I'm gonna lock it up. Maybe I'll remove the battery and take that with me. Now the riding position itself is so much more comfortable, like I said, than a standard mountain bike or road bike. It's just, my arms come straight across. I'm not leaned over like a, like a bicycle racer or something like that. I oh, just, I love feeling the, the fresh air. Breaking a little bit of a sweat sometimes, depending on that level. Uh, oh, will this thing go off road? Let's go try. It's great for these types of places. A nice little bicycle slash horse trail. I will be careful of the horses and not go too fast, but she'll do fine through here. Okay, here's a good example. We got a little hill up here, a little off-road dirt, definitely uphill. I'm gonna get back here, not pedal, just twist throttle, see if we can make it to the top.
no problem at all. Oh, and another thing this is great for, we can keep an eye out for a abandoned firewood. See, campers leave wood all the time in their campsite and I wanna burn it, we can just put it on the back here with this little spring clip right there. And voila, we can take firewood back to my campsite on an e-bike. Oh yeah. Other things you could possibly do back here is put a milk crate. A lot of people put those on a normal bicycle anyway. I had a five gallon bucket up here, bungeed. And also, if you want an extra bonus, if you're interested in one of these bicycles, there will be a link at the end of the video and also in the video description. If you use promo code NOMADICFANATIC on your order, you're gonna get some free saddlebag type things that go on the back here to hold some extra gear as well, kind of a extra perk. Let me grab my backpack and my ID and my keys and a few things. We're gonna go for a ride on the road. I'm gonna have my buddy riding another bike beside me and we're gonna have a little chat. All right, so right now I'm in a pedal assist two mode going about 20 miles an hour. I'm gonna kick it up into third, and then it instantly starts grabbing. But see, I'm still pedaling, still getting the workout, maybe not sweating. If I get tired, I just turn the throttle, I just sit here, just coast. 22 miles an hour, <laughs> maybe catch my breath, <laughs> uh, maybe relax a little bit grab some water or something and then when I'm ready to go again start pedaling back in pedal assist mode it's fun it's a really comfortable position for me I don't feel like I'm bent way over on a on a mountain bike or something there's 25 miles an hour right there I think I like uh, pedal assist 3 the most so comfortable. So I'm gonna go explore a little bit, at least go to the store, maybe make one little stop at Maima Mounds. I wanna be a little more safe and keep two hands on the wheel though, but this is super fun. Thanks to my buddy Andrew for getting those neat shots on the other bike. Uh, I do have my chest mount camera, GoPro on right now, action camera to get some good shots. I know the audio's terrible. I'm gonna fix that later. You know, in case I plan to actually do vlogging on the bike, touring around places, I will have better audio soon. But hey, no gas. It's cheap to ride this thing. Let's go up into third again. And there we go. I'm actually going up quite a hill right now. Not pedaling at all, just full throttle and going 19 miles an hour. And yeah, the battery does go down one tick because you're asking for the full 500 watts for the motor right now. But, you know, it's comfortable. Really a pretty area here. It looks like kind of the redwood forest. But no, this is the, uh, what do you call it? Maima Mounds Natural Area. We're gonna park the bike here. I'm gonna lock it up real quick. And I'm gonna go look through here real quick. I guess really quick actually, because I don't wanna leave Jack's too far. Uh, I've been here before. It's a natural area, but they have really let it gone to crap lately. I mean, they, they can't even mow the grass or weed. Like, it is so natural that you can't touch it. And now you can't even see the Mima Mounds anymore. It's very strange. It's still a pretty area, but boy, they, they were not kidding about keeping it natural. So let's go about two and a half miles farther to the Little Rock store. And don't get me wrong, guys, I'm not trying to compare an e-bike to a motorcycle. I'm just saying I've had a lot of motorcycles and mopeds, and I've also owned a lot of bicycles. I have never owned an e-bike before. This being my first, all this is new to me, and actually, it's really exciting. It's a lot of fun. It makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to break a sweat sometimes, especially in the hot summer days when I'm riding around, even with pedal assist on three. Yeah, I'm going to break a sweat, and I may lose a few pounds this summer riding this thing around, but... I think it's going to be a great tool in my arsenal, and you're going to see it incorporated into my life a lot more in the months to come. All right, and here is the town of Little Rock, Washington. All of about one block. You got the Little Rock Saloon off to our left, their coffee shop off to our right. And up here on our left is the one Chevron gas station and grocery store, followed by the church and the post office. We're going to get some refreshments and get back on the road. There we go, official beer of the Northwest, Rainier, 12-pack fits in there let's go back to camp i did break a sweat on the way back needless to say i really 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 like this e-bike way more than i think i should have see 
this is the other bike. This is the road bike by Electric, the uh, LX model. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's great. It's just not as comfortable as this folding bike. And I could never have seen that coming, but I think the guys at Electric knew that was gonna happen. I really think they knew I was gonna fall in love with this bike a little more. And I wanna thank the company so much for sending me out the bikes to test out and keep. They're gonna be a really fun part of my life and I no longer even am thinking about getting the motorcycle. So thank you guys. There'll be some links in the video description below. You can get yours free shipping and it's easy to put together like, like you saw. However, if I'm gonna be keeping two bikes in the meantime, I wanted to show you here what my plan is to transport them when it's sunny and nice. Cause I'm probably not always going to fold this up and bring it inside the RV. So, well, I waited yesterday to close this out because my neighbor was running his generator. I thought I could wait till today and have it quieter, but uh, he runs it all day, all night. <laughs> and he doesn't even turn it off to refill the gas. So anyway, there is a generator next to us. Wanted to show you what it looks like with both bikes on the back here. It was a little tricky science-wise trying to find out where to put the two wheel chocks on this so that I could carry both bikes, but they have straps that hold the wheels down this way. And like I said, the thing I really like about this is the arms. You can see the arm holding that one, the arm holding this one. They are locked. They cannot come up. So essentially the bikes are locked to the RV right now. Well, also because I have a locking hitch clip down there as well. But when it's nice and sunny and I don't have to bring it inside, it is kind of nice having both bikes on the back of the RV here like that. And you might say, Eric, how are you going to get the middle bike off if you're going to use that more often? Check this out. Pull this lever right here and the whole system tilts back. I think it does that in case you have an SUV or a van and you wanted the back door to open. But in this case, it's really convenient. Then I have all this extra room back here to remove the bike, take it off. Or later, I may switch this one to the front. It's just this is the way I set it up and it works. So I'm going to keep having fun with my bikes. You will see them in more of my videos as I enjoy them. And uh, again, uh, there's a link in the video description to electricbikes.com. Check them out. Let me know how you like them as well.